Hi everyone, welcome back to Avi Reaction, guys. Here we go again with another Turkish video, guys. I'm so curious to watch this. Like, I'm very curious to watch this because I always was curious about the relationship between Turkey and Germany. I know that live more than 4 million of Turks in Germany and working with cars, working with countries like Germany, France, etc. I know that there are a lot of Turks, okay, that make this business. So, I always was curious about this relationship, why there are so many Turks in Germany. In this video, we'll watch 18 difference between Turkish culture and German culture. I think that since there are a lot of Turks that live there, there is some connection between these two countries that is very interesting. So let's go and let's enjoy this video. Let's go, guys. Let's okay, go. so the first thing that I have here is subtitles in cinema. It might be super normal to most of the people in the world, but in Germany, it is not very usual to have subtitles in the cinema. So when I grew up, I went to the cinema as a kid, I've never seen subtitles in cinema. When I came to Turkey, the first time I went to the movies here, there were subtitles and the movie was not in Turkish, it was actually in the original language. They finally, finally a country that, that go and cinema and watch with original language. In Italy is in Italian too, like every movie is in Italian, lucky for me that exists Netflix because I love to watch in original language. Let's see what is okay. next on the list. Man only cafes. Yes, I think that's a big one. Um, living in Turkey, it's definitely... Italy exists too. I think Italy exists too, absolutely. Definitely a man dominated culture and for me it was just super weird to yeah, find Yeah, usually uh, men okay, are old people that play cards etc. I think that exists in Germany too. Come on man, exists in Germany too in I think everywhere or not. I don't know, in Italy exists because people play cards etc. Stay there all day. So who must not go there? Let's go face where it wouldn't be normal for a woman to join them. That was kind of confusing to me because in Germany you just don't think about am I allowed to go in there? Is it weird if I go in there? Will like men look at me? Oh. I think it's a big deal. Men only cafes. It has a big meaning in Turkish culture. Back in the days it was very important for men to socialize, to have a man only place. Totally understand this. I wish there were women only cafes as well. Okay. Maybe in the future. Fits very well. Call of prayer. And this is definitely something that I've never heard before in my life before I came to Turkey. Yeah. And you heard about church. You listen to church, okay, in my videos because always when I make video, it's like dun, 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 always. So okay, it's normal. It's another kind, uh, is a prayer. Here is the church, but it's the same thing I think. And something that we should all know about the call of prayer is that whenever the muezzin is calling that you should turn off the music. So if you're playing music in your car, at home, wherever, turn off the music, it's more respectful. For me as a German who didn't grow up with the call of prayer, what? in the beginning... I didn't know this. We have, you have to turn off the music? It was something very magical to me. I loved hearing the call of prayer. I loved Wow. getting woken up by it, uh, waking up at 5 a.m. just to listen to the call of prayer, especially when I was in Chandluufa last weekend. Yeah. The call of prayer, 5 a.m. It sounded like a song. It was so magical. Seriously, at 5? Yeah, because maybe it was a vacation, but I cannot imagine if I live in a place and I, at 5 in the morning, I, I listen to the prayer. With time, a person get used, okay, and it's normal, absolutely, okay, even the church. Very big topic, döner. Döner in Germany is probably the most popular fast food that you can find. You can find it in every small village, big cities everywhere. And the döner is actually very different in Germany than here in Turkey. So when I arrived in Turkey and I had a döner for the first time, I was shocked. I was like... This is not the dinner sandwich that I know from Germany and oh, I always sure. thought that the dinner sandwich that I know in Germany is ex actually the same in Turkey, but it's absolutely different. Okay, there's a cat going crazy? <laughs> Emerson! <laughs> so the German dinner was actually brought by Turkish guest workers and they developed the Turkish dinner to a German version of the Turkish dinner. So it became a German dinner sandwich okay. where you have lots of vegetables, greens and different kind of sauces. So it's very popular in Germany, people love it. There are also different variations. You can even put feta cheese inside or potato, veggies, everything that comes to your mind, lemon and so on. Okay. So when I came to Turkey, I had a dinner for the first time in my life. It was basically a durum with the meat, some french fries and turshu. That's it. I was disappointed. 
because this is not what I expected. I thought I would find the different sauces, I would find the salad, the vegetables, maybe cheese, you know, everything, but it's just not like that. And the reason for that is I found out after living here for over three years is that Turkish people love the flavor of the meat. That's why the döner, you find also very many different variations here as Iskender, Dürüm, Sandwich, whatsoever. But here they focus more on the pure flavor of the meat. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. As a German, I really miss the German döner sandwich. I think it's just, uh, I love it. But I also got used to the um, Turkish döner, Dürüm and Sandwich. <gasps> Apartments have a name. Oh yes, this is true. I was so confused for the first time when I had to What? write down my address here in Turkey and I had to write down so many things. The name of the mahalle, the name of my apartment, um, the number of the floor where I'm living. What do you mean have a name? He thinks we don't write this down in Germany. So in Germany, when you write down your address, you just write down your name, the street where you're living in and the street number. Yeah and the city of course but that's it so here in turkey you write so many things and this apartment is just called halil apartment i see mine apartment like all these apartments have Whoa, signs with seriously I'm, i'm gonna shock them. it's very hard to find a name for all apartments in turkey can be even two apart apartments with the same name no how can you make 40 million of people that live are like 40 million of names of apartments their names and I think this is something very cute it gives the house kind of a personality uh -huh. but so different than we know this in Germany okay. I've written down here Tekel Bakal supermarket yes it's true here in Turkey we have so many different kind of supermarkets where you can different kind of products so if you want to buy alcohol you have to go to a Tekel a Tekel is basically a place where they are allowed they have a license to sell the alcohol to a Bakal you will not you'll probably not find alcohol there but you'll find all other kind of groceries there mm -hmm. and in a big supermarket they have both they have everything you need also alcohol sometimes they do have alcohol sometimes they don't but here definitely the tackle are special places where you can buy alcohol okay. yogurt oh my god yogurt is a very big thing here in turkey i didn't know before that you can combine yogurt with so many things Here they eat yogurt with meat, they even drink yogurt as a soup. We have the yayla, yayla chorba, so we have so many dishes here yeah. that you can... Yes, I know this, okay, because I saw a lot of Turkish plates that has yogurt, so I know this, let's go. And with yogurt, like Iskender. In Germany, yogurt is more like a dessert, so you don't really yeah. have it as a main dish. So this was something so unusual for me when I first came here and explored the Turkish cuisine. The basket tradition for deliveries. Oh yes, I think this is also something very unusual and uncommon in Germany. I know this because it exists in Italy too, south of Italy, okay, it exists this, is a very old tradition, absolutely I know. In Turkey, if you are an elderly person or you live on the top floor of your apartment, it's very common that you have a basket in your home and whenever you hear someone calling on the street or you have someone mm. going down to the supermarket, mm. that you just throw the basket down it's there. It's more used like very small village, etc. It's not used to big cities, absolutely not. But in Italy, in the south of Italy, small village, etc. has this, absolutely yes. And you can put your shopping list in there or you can tell the guy who's selling the potatoes how many potatoes you want to have put the yes. money in there and then he will put the potatoes in the basket and you just uh, get it up there i think it's very smart and it's still very common here in turkey i just saw it on my way here so uh, that was this <laughs> is definitely something where i realize it's a different culture living in the basement yes this is definitely something very common for istanbul yeah. i'm not sure about the other cities but when you walk in the big city you will see that most houses have apartments in the basement and these yeah. basement apartments also have There windows exist in big cities too, like new york etc even at milan are just on the ground floor in germany i don't think that we have windows in our basement apartments so here it's just so common to have a basement apartment and people living there with windows right on the ground of the street bitter chai okay. in germany we don't really have a big tea culture so when we drink yeah, tea we... i go at a supermarket here at milano and they offer me tea immediately they say turks drink a lot of tea absolutely usually drink like fruit kind of teas or we add sugar to it but here in turkey chai is chai chai belongs to the daily life and especially black tea in germany i would Maybe. say black tea is not very common we don't really like to drink just black tea mm -hmm. here in turkey every single day they start their day with a black 
tea with chai. Maybe. It's not like on the bazaar as a tourist when you come here you get like this sweet apple tea. Yeah. So I was like, this is the Turkish tea, but actually it's the black tea. Okay. And you have to get used to it. Pistachio on every dessert. Yes, this is absolutely true. Something that is just different to Germany. We also have pistachio in Germany, but here it's very dominant in the desserts. We have baklava, okay. kunefe, lokum, halva. On all these desserts, you can find pistachio. And amazing. if there's no pistachio in the- I love, I love pistachio, so for me it's amazing. A dessert? Is it really a dessert? I don't think so. Pistachio, super important in Turkish cuisine. Cardboard police cars. <laughs> I remember the first time when I was driving in what? Turkey and I saw a cardboard police car from the distance. I was like, oh what? no, this is a real police car. So when you get closer, no, you realize it's not real, actually a real police car, but it just looks so real when you've seen me. it for the first time. And still, after three years living here, I still get confusion. And I think it no is kind way. of smart to put this there. It's Come very on, effective. Guys, I cannot believe this. Okay. I think that everyone in Turkey no when it's fake or not because i live in there i think that everyone knows so i don't know guys come on man of making sure the speed limit <laughs> is respected Maybe. the color of sausages small one but in Germany, we have lots of different kinds of sausages, but there's one sausage that we do not have in Germany. Mostly see like these red colored sausages. It's just, it's just so weird looking to me. Um, yeah. I'm actually a bit afraid of trying these sausages because this red color looks just so unnatural to me. The sausages colors here. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid yeah. of the sausages. <laughs> French fries for breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe guys. Okay, the last thing that she say. <laughs> Oh, come on, man! I cannot believe this. What what she say? It might be uh, unnatural, I don't know, but the sausages colors here... <laughs> I'm afraid of the sausages. Okay, maybe it's just me, but come on, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that in camera, please, come on. <laughs> natural to me in germany we have to me it's a more natural color for tracks it might be unnatural i don't know but the sausages colors here <laughs> i'm afraid of the sausages okay i cannot i cannot believe this sorry the sausages colors here <laughs> i'm afraid of the sausages french fries for breakfast <laughs> Breakfast in Turkey is amazing. They have so many different things for breakfast, especially tomatoes, cheese, cucumbers, olives, and so on. Super healthy for breakfast, sure, but they have French fries. I don't get it. Why do you eat French fries for breakfast? It's so not yeah, a bre French fries for breakfast. It's like I don't know that too. It's insane. Breakfast dish. It's like a side dish for your lunch or for your dinner. For breakfast, really? Yeah. I don't get it. Incredible. One sentence can be one word. Oh yes, the Turkish language is definitely very, very different from European languages. You can form a whole sentence and in the end it will just be one word. And I think this is super interesting. It makes learning mm -hmm. Turkish so much fun. I think it's a very interesting concept. It makes your brain work in different I am the only one person in the world that try to learn Turkish and this so hard. Looks like everyone who works very, very easy. Be it Danilo, Danilo, don't learn it. Danilo, don't learn it. Because if you learn, I have to learn too. So Danilo, please don't learn Turkish language. <laughs> because if you learn, I have to learn too. I, I find that uh, Turkish language very hard. So I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, seriously, but I find it very hard. Ways and I really love this about the Turkish language. Come on, guys, what an amazing video! Thanks to Travel Comic for this amazing video. I find it very interesting, and actually, it's very fun to learn these new things about Turkey. And some things I already know already about breakfast, about a lot of things, okay. But other things I find out now, like the name of apartments, is just something crazy. So, guys, I have to say that this video was just beautiful. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one, and we'll see the next reaction. Ciao a tutti, ragazzi, e noi ci vediamo alla prossima. Ciao!